And it is the number 12 team in the country, the Michigan Wolverines, against the Spartans of Michigan State. And since 1953, they've been playing for the Paul Bunyan Trophy as Devin Thomas and A.J. Jimerson are back deep awaiting the kickoff from the Wolverines. And here we go. Right at the goal line is Devin Thomas, one of the best in college football and kick returns, and he gets out to about the 20 ball game. Third down and four. And it's Hoyer in the shotgun. His first pass is caught by Davis. First down all the way out to midfield. He tipped it to himself. The old tip drill grease right to his own. Came to for his mom, probably, huh? Yeah. Everybody else's nicknames. That's good. I like that. <laughs> Ringer back in there for Michigan State. Quick pass. That's a lateral. And it's going to pick up good yardage and maybe a first down. I think he's got it inside the 40 at the 39. But it's a run. Exactly. It's a lateral. Exactly. And a first down at the 39. Hoyer, play action. Here comes the heat. Throw. He's got a man. Down at the 22-yard line, it's Devin Thomas. Thomas working over there on Morgan Trent. For the Spartans, they're down at 7. Hoyer in the shotgun across the middle and in and out of the hands of his intended receiver. Devin Thomas, who took a big shot took the ball took it right down the field and now they'll attempt a 36 yard field goal from the right hash high snap they got it down though and he got all of it on the kick Michigan State takes the lead at home at three and one at home this year hoping to make it four and one against their right now starting offensively from its own 38 yard line Mike Hart at tailback as Henry drops the throw pumps once and across the middle he goes and it looks like it's going to be a first down toss to Carson Butler. Let's get out of it. It might have been friendly fire that got him. It's kind of hard to tell. Second down along seven. Mike Hart, nice little move in the hole, and here he goes. Mike Hart on the way. Still on his feet. Dragging Spartans to the 11-yard line. If there was any doubt of any problems with Mike Hart's ankle, it's Henny missed last week's game against Minnesota, so... Both of their four-year starters, their best players on offense, look pretty good to me so far in this ballgame. Second down. Henny, quick drop, quick throw to the corner. Touchdown, Michigan. And it's Manningham in the corner. That's Henderson again. Wow. But he beats. Chad Henney put it right where it had to be, where Manningham is the only guy that could get it. And Mario Manningham, Michigan State. So the Wolverines have their first lead of the day and looking to add the extra point on to it. Lapata does. And the Wolverines go sick together. They like one another good enough, at least at this point. Third down for Michigan State. Hoyer out of the shotgun. Got a man in the middle and he threw an interception. Trying to get it to Thomas. Back coming Michigan. And Jamar Adams has got it to the 42-yard line. So there's the first big mistake of the ball game. And a penalty marker flies in at the end of the play. Guard line, let's see if Michigan keeps it on the ground or if they might go for a quick strike. It'll be Mike Hart. He can strike you anytime, I guess. And he's bouncing out of the pile. Mike Hart down the sideline. All the way to the 12-yard line. He never quits on himself, and he never quits on a play. Down right now for the Spartan defense. Henny to the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. Carson Butler. Perfect strike. Henny's second scoring toss of the day. Butler's still there. Michigan. Three receivers in the same spot. And he had all kinds of time. Didn't need much time to throw that because they were so close to the end zone anyway. It's going. He looked sharp early and then threw an interception the last time he had the ball. And this time he's not going to get a chance to get rid of it. Terrence Taylor is the guy that got there first. Well, they sent a whole load. They... Three-man rush. Henny fires on the sideline. Tips. Almost intercepted. He actually had a man open, but Ashton Henderson played that beautifully. Manningham was a hit. When it's all over, you can walk in the alleys or you can walk in the streets. <laughs> I like that one. That's the bragging rights. This one's at stake and uh, going the wrong way is Hoyer. Drop back at the 20-yard line. 
Michigan defensive. Michigan State trying to become bowl eligible. Michigan thinking Rose Bowl. That's what's going on here in East Lansing today. This throw, and for the second time, Kellen Davis almost tipped a pass to himself. Incomplete, Chris Graham. Bates now has to kick from his own five. We keep punting back and forth. Somebody's going to break one. And Matthews going to go straight ahead with it. This might be the one. Matthews into Michigan State territory to the 41-yard line. 29-yard return on a 50-yard kick. So we were waiting for one of those to happen. Whack I know, receiver. because you like St. Deke and what he's done so far today. That's why you need some chip blocks sometimes as Henny goes out and goes complete. Okay, okay. you got to get back in position. Okay, right. so at the snap, here we go. Here comes Baldwin's played so well in the last few games. He's overtaken St. Deke atop that defensive board. Henny looks one way, comes back the other. Hit Manningham, and he's drilled as soon as he catches it. Michigan State's defense fired up right now. Your heart's as cold as my baked potato. <laughs> Fourth down and three. Henny, quick throw, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Otis Wiley. First mistake of the day for Michigan. That's but, two game now. Donovan, I mean, Donovan uh, Warren, he's playing over there because he's pretty good. They've had some other guys over there in the past that have played that position that have gone on to the NFL. Alcrick looks like he got a first down. Those have and been Leon Hall, Marlon Jack. So on the ground, they continue to do it. Now they set up Thomas in the backfield. They fake it to him. Hoyer's got a man open in the middle and got him inside the 35, Kellen Davis. Wide open, Kellen Davis. Play action, and he's down the middle by himself. Yeah. Two tight ends in again. And here's the toss to Ringer. I like this. Ringer, nice spin move inside the 30, down to the 22-yard line. Win for Navy. Sure would. Second down and less than a yard. Paul Creek, first down. Michigan State's best drive since the opening drive of the ball game has leading, but Colcrick in there right now has been gaining yardage. Here he is again. Colcrick cartwheels inside the 10. Ball. Ball came out. No, he was down. He's already made the decision to go for it on fourth down or not if they don't make it here. Colcrick cuts back to the hole. Boy, his second effort after he got hit is the thing that got him the first down. Yeah. Well, think about this guy now. He's six foot tall. He weighs 255 pounds. They finally clear it. They don't have enough guys on the field. Here's a power eye, full house backfield. Look. And putting his shoulder down is Colcrick, and he almost got to the goal line, down to the one yard line. And Colcrick, just as Paul, 10 players on the field because one just came on during that sound bite. Power eye, Colcrick bangs into the middle. Did he get there? His players are saying he did. The officials are not. Anton Campbell in there to help out on the stop. Now they say touchdown. His 17th of the year. What a drive by Michigan State when they desperately needed it. Number. And it's up and good. Second down and nine from the two. And here it comes, a throw by Henny. Deep. Manningham made the catch. And they're looking Michigan State for a flag because they thought Manningham pushed off. This is about the fourth. 41, the Wolverines. Henny in trouble. Got hit as he threw, and it's incomplete, and it's Janal St. Deep that got him again. Boy, they did a twist move. Watching you on film, you've been really uh, good. Second down and four. Here's a toss. Ringer trying to get outside. They won't let. Whoops, he's still on his feet. Now he's coming back the other way. He gets a few blocks, and this could be something. Ringer at the 30. Got a block. Ringer down the sideline. One man to beat. One blocker with him. Ringer all the way to the six-yard line. Hello. As we start the fourth quarter, power eye, Hoyer, play action, throws, wide open, Davis, touchdown. <laughs> Sweats it in for the point after. One play into the fourth quarter. It is 17-14 Spartans. At least this week. 
Brandon well, Miner's true. in there right now. Yeah. Here they come after Chad Henney. And he's oh. in, oh, he really buried. And I hope he's not hurt because he took a big time shot. And now Michigan State with a lead and the ball at their own 48 yard line. Give it off to Colcrick. And J.U. goes all the way to the 45 yard line. Following his big hogs up front, including four passes, but Hoyer's completed all four of them, including a touchdown. On the ground they stay. Looks like it should be a first down for Javon Ringer, who had that 72-yard electrify Virginia. Second down at six. The handoff and the cutback. Kulkrick carrying Michigan players with him to the 21-yard line. Levels from Ann Arbor. Third down. Fumble. Boyer picks it up. And now throws. Got a man. Thomas made the catch. At the seven, it's first and goal. Because this is it right here. Third down and goal. Colquitt. Michigan State by 10. Now, all their stars are out there, even though they're walking wounded. Henny to throw on first down. Completes it out to Arrington. Arrington tiptoes out of bounds with a first down. Ryan Mallett, he's played a lot this year, but not in this atmosphere. And down he goes. Mike Hart picks up the ball. Hart picks up the ball, and he's running out to the first down. And it's a play. The, uh, the whistle did not blow. Times over 200, but might not be enough today. The deep out. Got a man at the 45. It's Manningham, and it's a first down Michigan. He's back in the pocket again, and again throws a strike to the right. Complete to the 40, and a flags fly in at the end of the play. Boy, here's one of those things that are just so dumb and, and it, well not dumb. How about stupid that the man is out of bounds and then you go whack him. That's Matthews that catches the ball goes out of bounds and then the defensive guy hits him as he's out of bounds. That's the freshman following the play that ball personal foul right here out of bounds 38. 15 yard penalty. They call it on Davis Clark. Battling a bad knee and a bad shoulder and a Michigan State defense throw in. Got another one complete. This time, Arrington, and it's inside the fifth yards. Henny, pressure coming to the end zone. Touchdown! What Matthews. a great, What a great throw. What a great throw. 14-yard strike to Matthews, and Michigan's right back in it. <laughs> All-important extra point by Lapata is up and good. 79 yards in less than a minute. Fuck. They've got 184 yards rushing in the second half. They want two more right here. Kulkrick on a toss. And he's not going to get to it. they got to give it up. Max Pollock to Henny's right side. Chad throws to the out again. And Arrington made a diving catch. Chad Henney has time. Scans the field and throws complete. That thing was almost intercepted, and now it's Arrington, and it's a first because they've got so much time to work with. Oh, look at the blitz. Henney completes it over the middle this time. Butler, I beg your pardon, Matt Manningham, and he's got it in third down and 12. They need some yardage just to give their kicker a shot. Even if they don't get all of it. Again, a three-man rush. Henny with a lob it to the corner. Michigan State. Touchdown, Manningham. It looked like a jump ball, but the defender just couldn't get back there. The defensive back did not play the ball well. And Manningham went up and got it. It was Weaver, number 37. One-on-one. -on -one. The 
fourth touchdown pass of the day for Chad Henney. And Manningham falling down makes the grab for the touchdown. Big extra point here. Try to make it a four-point game, and Michigan State would need a touchdown, and now they do. Michigan 28, Michigan State 24. He does a nice job of kind of keeping some room so he can fade away to catch the ball. Comes right at you and right at Mario Manningham. And the jump in the corner for the touchdown. Manningham, how often has Manningham done that? You know, Chad Haney has tied his career high with four touchdown passes in the four years that he's been a Michigan starter since the open to work. 2.20 left with two timeouts. Hoyer comes up throwing, completes, and it's Deion Curry who dives out of bounds. One of the things in talking to Mark uh, D'Antonio says Hoyer is... Bill Mount from the gun. Here comes a blitz. Hoyer throws it complete again. First down, and it's Curry again. They'll stop the clock to move the chains. Down first. Hoyer across the middle man wide open. All the way down to the 33-yard line is Devin Thomas. A good tackle. Devin Thomas with a 17-yard pickup. Look out. And Hoyer had to just go down at the 42-yard yeah, line. They're mixing the defenses of mixing. Three, seven, and seven in overtime, and seven in double overtime, and now down by four. Hoyer, heavy pressure. Throws wide side. Broken up by Morgan Trent. And now there's one chance left. Brian Hoyer needs one more big-time throw. In the gun. And they're going to blitz. Hoyer, deep middle. Incomplete. And Michigan will take over. Dramatic comeback by the Wolverines on the road, led by Chad Henney. And now it looks again they're going to suffer the heartbreak of the loss to Michigan and the heartbreak of their fifth loss of the year by seven points or less. As the Michigan players come out on the field, they'll have a quick prayer and celebration, I guess. They're all out there, and the Michigan State guys can only head to the locker room knowing that they had a chance. They had them by 10, and they couldn't hold on. So Michigan wins it with a comeback led by Chad Henney.